with Oliver Slope there in Chicago. Oliver, this uh, there's a lot of talk about the coronavirus. Is it really that having that big of an impact, do you think, over here in the livestock market? Uh, where, or do you think that there's still more to come depending on whether or not this starts to, uh, uh, to, to, to maybe plateau or not? You know, I'm not so sure that the coronavirus is going to have a longer or I don't think it's going to have a longer term effect, but that doesn't mean there's not uncertainty right here. And that uncertainty is obviously what has led to a large part of the risk off trade that we've seen in the last week, week and a half. And so, as I mentioned, with uh, the grain market, you know, if you're not bullish or not bearish, sometimes the best thing to do is sit on your hands. And I think that's what we're seeing right here, especially to start the week, just kind of chopping around here. I wouldn't be surprised to see this market start to find a little bit of footing here with the outside outside markets rallying especially there's a gap up in that april contract a little closer towards 123.50 we looked uh, for a retest up to that and probably be looking on the sell side again i think the bears have taken control of the technicals and looking at the money flow it, it looks like the funds are going to want to continue to liquidate their long position last week's commitment of traders report showed that funds sold about 20,000 contracts still net long about 71,000 contracts so if we start to see cash uh, maybe steady maybe even soften up a little bit i wouldn't be surprised to see funds dump a little bit more, but in the very near term, would love to see a relief rally to resell. Are we still net short over here in the hog market, though? Because look what we've done to that chart. <laughs> that chart is uh, ugly as sin, and we are in uncharted territory as we continue to take out these new lows. And I think a lot of last week, especially the back half, when you look at Thursday and Friday's price action, a lot of that was probably forced liquidation, margin departments stepping in and saying, hey, listen, if you've got a long position, you've you know got to manage your risk appropriately. And a lot of that leads to forced liquidation and getting out and not necessarily at the best time. I do think that there's probably some potential for a relief rally, but still a lot of uncertainty. And the bulls are swimming upstream against a stream of bearish headlines. Obviously, the coronavirus is one, but we also have headlines out this morning that Chinese kind of wants to be a little, or the Chinese want to be a little bit more flexible with their phase one agreement. So that is certainly not helping uh, the, the bulls find their legs here this morning. But again, I think the dust will settle, get a, re a little relief, and repair some of the damage that has been done on the chart. Oh boy, already wanting to have a little relief from phase one. Well, that's uh, interesting. Development. All right. Thank you a lot, Oliver. Always appreciate it. Over here in the uh, live cattle market right now, that front month.